Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on Fox Farm, my uh, one of my test maps, and we uh, have here is the Class Jaguar 695 by EED123, 34.46 megabytes to download. It is a pack of three items. You have the Forge Harvester, and we have two uh, header attachments that we will be looking at. So first of all, uh, let's go into our uh, store and vehicles and forage harvesters. And uh, here we are with the class Yaguar uh, 695, only $60,000, so very uh, affordable. Uh, 316 to 410 horsepower variable rate transmission 550 liters of fuel 15 mile per hour traveling speed 80 liters of silage av additive capacity at nine tons we have engine choice 316 326 342 410 is the max horsepower for only extra 400 or four thousand dollars so that's a steal of a deal i would say and i would definitely go for that if i were you Wheel Brands, Trelleborg, BKT, Continental, Michelin, Midas, Vertestein, Trelleborg. So, uh, within those, we have a couple of choices. Uh, no choices with BKT, Michelin, we have a couple of choices. Three choice, four choices, three choices. Midas, nothing there, or nothing extra. And Trelleborg, we have two choices. Uh, does not look like... We are charged for any of the extra choices. Nice. Additional weight goes on the rear. We have 800 kilogram option and a silage tank, which actually appears visually right there for an extra $2,000. And that adds the 80 liters of silage additive capacity. Right. So attachers, that's uh, tools and forage harvester headers is where we'll find the two items so it's uh, 15 slots for the harvester and these are four and three slots each we have a grass pickup with its only pick up grass eight mile per hour three meters uh we'll t talk about the pickup width in a moment um and but other than that twelve thousand dollars for that and then the six row corn hutter cutter cutter header six row corn header sixteen thousand uh, dollars 1.4 tons uh, 5.3 meters in a width uh, we'll do all your regular forage harvester type crops and it is what it is like so that is what we have here so let's hop in let's get inside uh, looks very uh, very normal uh, let's get our help window on there we go R1 and horn. Oh, pretty stout horn. Uh, we don't have any other real um, options. Um, if we disconnect the trailer, that will actually give us a real view of what our options are. Nothing really. We have the pipe in, pipe out. We have the uh, lower R header. We have the header does fold. like so for transport very nice l1 and x unfolds it right so let's hook up our uh, the the trailer hitch only hooks up to pin hitch just so you know now this is uh, the the of uh, the model i'm in or the one i'm in is spec uh, is not spec anything it is the base model with the 300 horsepower engine and uh, as you will see here we're going to turn on our uh, turn it on and as we go forward we hire a worker um, it's a bit slow for I think he manages five miles per hour so it's uh, it's uh, it's pushing the limits a little bit with this uh, corn header I would probably use this one actually more for the grass pickup because you're not really uh, running using power to run the head but other than that 
it works fine uh it is a six miles per hour i do believe let's take a look at here yeah six miles per hour uh working speed so it's just a little bit slower than but the i mean it's i'm at one mile per hour <laughs> uh, it looks very good works for the animations are very nice the view from inside is really nice if you like in cab right so moving on over here now this is the one i spec'd up to the maximum horsepower and we have the grass pickup on there and i've been uh, the worker's not going to uh you don't have an option to use a worker when you're picking up grass so let's start it up uh this one doesn't have uh oh it does have a fold and unfold there we go there it is folded unfolded puts the wheels down etc etc let's see here we have that's about it lower and raise we turn it on like so and we're ready to go now i've chosen an area where the uh, grass is kind of all spread out so you can show so i can show you the area it picks up and that is definitely not three meters wide three meters wide is nine feet and that is definitely not nine feet wide there is a little bit of an issue is it's not even as wide as this actually shows so yeah um because i re i i i kind of uh let's lift that up and go over now of course these bur these these windrows are massive and um it actually does not too bad of a job picking up but as you can see even though I'm actually really, I'm actually, like, I'm right over top of it, and it's still missing, still missing a fair bit, a bit of portion of it. So, um, and maybe it's fine for smaller windrows. I mean, this is a, let's say, smaller forage harvester, so... Uh, this is really overdoing it, obviously. But, um, anyways, that's how it works. I mean, it does work. It's just the, the pickup area, I think, is a bit small. I would like to see it at least as wide as the, the, uh, how the header looks there. Let's just, uh, oh, uh, we should look at, um, lights and stuff like that. Lights and signals. Let's start it up. I do like the exhaust. Um, it is an older um, model. We'll drop that there. We'll drive, drive forward. Here we go. We'll take a look at it. Lights. Has some good lighting. Signals. Right and left signals. We look inside. I don't think there's any lights inside that really... Uh, yeah. Nothing really is happening inside, but it's a good view. We have a good view of the in-cab, so that's very nice. Mirrors work as they should. Very nice. And there you go. That is the Class Jaguar 695 by EED123. 34.46 megabytes to download. 15 slots, 4 and 3 slots for the attachments. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember... It's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.